Hi, I'm Kristen Scott, a yearbook advisor from Austin, Texas. I'm here today to give you some tips for how to get great photos for your yearbook, no matter what camera you're using. Let's get started by talking about photojournalism. There are three main types of photojournalism images. The first one we'll talk about is a posed photograph. A posed photograph is one where the subject knows that their photograph is being taken and is posing for the picture. Posed photos are considered to have less photojournalistic integrity than unposed ones. An unposed or candid photograph is more often associated with photojournalism because it aims to capture a subject or a moment with authentic emotion in a natural environment. Because it captures the moment while it's happening, this is the ideal style of photography for yearbooks. Let's take a look at three different types of unposed photographs that you might see in your yearbook. The first is an action shot. An action shot literally captures the moment in action. On the other side of action is the reaction shot. This captures action from a different perspective, usually the spectator, the fans cheering in the crowd, or someone looking on as the action is taking place. The third type of photojournalism image is called emotion. While action and reaction shots can be emotional, the emotion shot aims to connect the viewer with the subject of the photograph through their emotions. Let's move on to composition. Simply put, composition is the placement of the subject within the rectangular frame of the photograph. Composition allows the photographer to place emphasis on one particular portion of the photograph, drawing interest to the subject. Let's take a look at two composition rules that involve perspective and focus on where the photographer stands when taking the photograph. The first one is called bird's eye view, which means the photograph is taken from above. The photographer standing above his or her subject is able to get a different viewpoint when taking their photograph and place emphasis on their subject in a way that's different than if they were looking at their subject straight on. The second perspective style is called worm's eye view, which means the photograph is taken from below the subject. Again, this allows the photographer to place emphasis on various aspects within the frame and focus on details that might not be seen otherwise. The last technique we're going to look at is called rule of thirds. This is a mathematical composition rule that involves dividing the photograph into three sections, both vertically and horizontally, and then placing emphasis or placing your subject within one of the four corners of intersection. Rule of thirds has the photographer place their subject sometimes in the top, the bottom, the left, or the right, but always the subject is placed just slightly off center. Now I know what you're thinking. Some of these photos are pretty great and maybe you don't have events like this or fancy cameras at your school that you can use to capture these images. However, I'm gonna take a minute to show you how you can capture photos using these three composition rules just by using the camera on your phone so that you can get great photographs for your yearbook no matter what type of camera you're using. A ninth grade journalist is going to tell the story of her sister, a sixth grade gymnast who has been unable to practice since her gym shut down, she uses the swing set on her backyard to do her conditioning exercises and stay in shape. The first shot is taken straight on, and the photographer decides she might get better results if she takes it from a creative angle like bird's eye view. She gets a ladder and heads back out. This time, she gets a unique perspective. Not all photographers have ladders, so sometimes they can get creative. Here the photographer uses the playscape that her sister is swinging on to give her the bird's eye view angle. Next up, she moves to take pictures of her sister jumping on the trampoline. She takes her first shot straight on and realizes she'd like to do better. So this time she decides to get onto the trampoline and laying down using worm's eye view, she takes some more creative shots that allow her unique and more unusual angles. This time the roles are reversed. The sixth grade journalist tells the story of her ninth grade sister for a yearbook profile on students and their pets. She takes her first shot straight on and realizes that maybe she can do a little bit better. By opening the settings on her phone, she can go into the camera app settings and turn on the rule of thirds grid. Once on, the rule of thirds grid will appear anytime she has the camera app open allowing her to place her subject on one of the lines of thirds. 
Rule of thirds is also a technique that can be done post-production in Photoshop simply by using the crop tool. The lines of thirds appear, allowing the photographer to adjust the image as they like. Finally, one last technique for a posed photo like this is to use portrait mode, which is available on the iPhone 7 Plus and above. Using the camera app, the photographer swipes to turn on portrait mode. Portrait mode blurs the background and allows for a better focus on your subject. For a profile on a high school senior who has been creating baked goods for people in her neighborhood, our photographer is challenged by the size of the kitchen. Nevertheless, she gets creative with perspective, crouching down close to the oven to get a worm's eye view shot, or using a step stool to get a bird's eye view. Due to the size of the kitchen, she relies heavily on rule of thirds, trying to minimize distractions in the background and focus on her subject. A wide variety of camera angles, composition techniques, and photo tools built into the camera's programming allow our photographer to get some great shots to round out this yearbook spread's coverage. Now that we've seen several scenarios, let's take a look at one more. This time we have the story of a ninth grade dancer whose classes have moved online to Zoom. Our photographer starts out with a couple of establishing shots, but realizes she wants to get a little more creative and use some of the composition techniques she knows. Standing behind the computer, she can compose an image using rule of thirds of her sister practicing her dance. Next, she moves to the floor and takes a few photos using worm's eye view from a creative and unusual perspective. Next, she goes for a large stool or ladder to take photos using bird's eye view from above. Again, these photos allow her to get a creative and unique perspective. To round out the photo session, she decides to take a couple of portraits, one using bird's eye view from above, and a second one using portrait mode to blur the background. This series of photographs will give yearbook designers a wide variety to choose from for their story on this student.